Hey there YouTube, what's up? Big Zach McGee here with another silver video for you. Tonight I have a twofer unboxing. I have some constitutional uh, coinage that I'm going to unbox. Before I do that, however, I had a comment based on a prior video where I had purchased this, uh, this beautiful hand-poured 5-ounce silver bar. And the comment asked, could I please show the weight of it as it stands here? and also do the rear earth magnet test. So I'd be happy to do that real quick. I'll start off with the weight, I guess. Zero this out here. Five point oh four six according to this, so about four point six hundredths of a troy ounce over. And for the uh, rare earth magnet test, I'm going to hold this at uh, actually a pretty steep angle here. There we go. It's got that nice diabagnetic resistance. Beautiful bar. All right. Very happy I picked that up. And again, if you uh, want to see how that bar was made, go check out Three Tips. S R E E T I P S his username uh, on YouTube and uh, boy real cool video to watch on to my unboxing um, recently the last six seven weeks I've been purchasing mostly bullion and it's really nice to be able to get back and uh, find some deals on some uh, some junk silver um, I'm just gonna go ahead and open up and then we'll we'll talk So here I have uh, six half dollars. These are of the 40% silver variety. And then I have a roll of 1964 quarters. I'm going to go ahead and un take them out of the packages and uh, we'll take a closer look. Here's the uh, roll of quarters I just thought I'd, before I lay them all out, these quarters are actually in really, really nice condition. It's obvious they've been cleaned, however. Not that that's a huge deal. Anyway, I'll get these uh, spread out and give you a look. Okay, so let's start with the, uh, the Kennedys here. So we have, um, you know, the 40% Kennedys are anything 1965 through 1970. And my goal right now as far as stacking these, um, I know they're not the most desirable silver out there. But you can sure find it for really close to spot price almost everywhere. Which is good for two reasons. You know, obviously you want to find cheap silver. Um that doesn't cost too much of a premium to add to your stack. Some people are really big into um, stacking for bartering or future, you know, shit hits the fan kind of scenarios. Um, I'll be honest, I'm not terribly um, into stacking for that reason, but I think that 40% silver is a really good uh, middle of the road um, thing to stack if that's something you're interested in because it is silver. It's 40%. It still has the the fully silver rim. It's recognizable. Um, it doesn't get much more fractional than that, and it's still nice uh, big 50 cent pieces. So anyway, I'm trying to get put together a hundred dollar face value bag of these. And I'm a little bit more than a third of the way there at the moment. Then we have the 90% uh, silver quarters. Love these quarters. It 
So, you know, again, to me, 90% silver and 40% silver, just the constitutional coinage, to me, this is like the very definition of fractional silver. I'm not going to spend a premium on it, just, you know, normal fractional bullion. Unless, of course, it's some kind of numismatic play or something like that, but um, for me, this is where it's at. I will continue to buy United States 1964 and before 90% coins and the 40% coins as long as I can find them for, you know, with good prices. The interesting thing about both of these items is that normally when I purchase on eBay, um, usually I'm doing the searching for the newly listed things and I'm the buy it now is just trying to strike when the iron's hot, find something that's listed for, for a great price. Both of these were picked up in the mundane ending soonest, you know, just kind of skating about two or three minutes ahead of when the auction's ending and just trying to snipe bids. Um, it was pretty easy to get the 40%. Um, you know, I bought these. I want to say these were just a smidge above spot, and that was with uh, shipping included as well. The 90% silver, the premium I paid for this was about $1.75 uh, per troy ounce over spot, which was extremely reasonable compared to how much my LCS is charging for it right now. Um, I think the only reason that I got this was that there was several rolls all in a row from different people, and uh, this was one of the ones that was kind of right in the middle, and I just put in my best price, and um, on all of them, really, and this one skated through. So you never know if you're going to you know, be able to score that way or not. Um, I would say that for me on eBay, I probably... I'm successful on, uh, you know, winning an auction one out of every 75 times. <laughs> and that's because I just don't like to overpay. I'm willing to let things slide if, and just take that opportunity of trying to get it for, uh, for as close to a spot as I can. So anyway, that's my, uh, my U.S. constitutional coinage pickup for the month. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And um, we'll be back with you real soon. This is Big Stack McGee. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you're all having a great day. You guys take care.